Thanks for joining me for another Hayscan update here at the Alamo Dome, the final day of spring training. Padres and Rangers ready to get it on here in about an hour. It'll be Jason Marquis going for the Padres, Derek Holland for the Texas Rangers. Marquis expected to go three or four innings. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, it'll depend on the pitch count, but he's not going to overextend him with opening day coming close. We'll probably see Tyson Ross in today's ballgame, and Andrew Kashner also likely to make an appearance out of the bullpen. Not a whole lot of news other than that. Uh, Carlos Quinton seems to be doing fine. He's taking the day off, but he'll get a couple of days rest. Ask Buddy about how he's going to use him if they've had some discussions about the days off and how they're going to manage that. And as expected, Buddy said he and Carlos have discussed it. They will talk about it prior to each series, pick out some days that would be likely days for him to take a day off to give that knee some rest. But of course, it's a fluid situation on any given day. Should Carlos say, hey, buddy, I need a day off, obviously he'll get it. But the hope is to keep him healthy and on the field as much as possible during the season. He talked a little bit about Cody Ross and what a great addition he's been to this ball club. Nice to have a nice, calm, mature presence on the infield and a guy who's been able to pick up all the punt plays and steal plays very quickly. So he's happy to have, have Cody in the, in the system and be able to add that depth. And then finally, a little bit of a discussion regarding the interesting pickoff play that happened last night at third base. As you may recall, Houston Street threw the ball to third base with runners on first and third. Jed Jerko caught the ball near the third base bag, but in the umpire's opinion, not close enough to constitute a pickoff play. In other words, it was ruled a balk. I asked about that, and really, during the season, this is going to be a point of contention because it is in the umpire's discretion whether the third baseman is in the vicinity to be able to make the play. So that's a new rule this year. Obviously there's going to be some uh, interesting situations that arise anytime you have a rule change and guys are so used to the old way of doing things, as are the umpires, so it may not be the first time that we see one of those debates. That'll do it for today. We're going to play ball here pretty soon. Thanks for joining me for this, this update. I'm Bob Scanlon, and we'll talk to you later today.